I'm Oso Infundishi Tayari Cassell. Most people know me as Tayari Cassell, and I've been a national and world champion for many years, and I'm a part of the Global Proving Ground for Warrior Island. I'm excited to be a part of that as one of the teachers and mentors for the many men and probably some of the women as well who are coming through. Well, you know, one of the things that's important that I always talk about is not just what I've done in terms of my career, but just the, the entire premise of the martial arts in terms of its basis, in terms of the discipline, the courtesy, the respect. So it's about honoring the traditions and principles of the arts. And so my background, starting off in karate, of course, that was the popular thing way back then. And then, of course, then I shifted into the Chinese martial art of, of Kung Fu. And the Shaolin Chung Chuan was the main thing that I've done. Most people recognize and remember me through uh, the Kung Fu aspect because of all the magazines and uh, Inside Kung Fu, specifically when the article that they had done that named me as Kung Fu's first fighter. But what I've also done is study traditional African dance and also African martial arts. And so my system that I'm promoting and what I deal with is the Kupi Ghana Ngumi, and it is the Inyoka system of that, which is the snake ground fighting. And so the energy of that is what I'm going to be bringing to Warrior Island. You know, one of the things that I've noticed about uh, the different martial arts and the different kinds of uh, organizations that are coming along, they're promoting the sport and they're promoting um, the fighting aspect of it. Global Proving Ground is trying to bring back the tradition of the arts, and that's something that is extremely important that I love, and it is about making sure that we honor the traditions, the history, the principles of the martial arts. So I'm very proud to be a part of that project. Warrior Island, man, now that is something that's absolutely fantastic. Because you're talking about bringing together these men and women who are competing, working not only against each other, but they're competing with themselves. They're trying to make sure that what they are doing is the best. They're bringing out the best within themselves. And so having the different martial arts instructors from various styles all over, it gives them a chance to challenge themselves, to, to relearn things, and then of course learn new things so that it brings out again the best, and that way they compete against each other. And that at that particular point, the best rises to the top. Wow. Warrior Island. I'll say it again. Warrior Island. Excellent. You know, one of the things about the African martial art, the Kupi Ghana and Gumi, and the Nyoka system that I teach as well, is that um, we're talking about a synthesis of the African warrior experience, which is about not just the physical training, but it's the spiritual training that goes along with it. So one of the things that we're talking about doing and that I'm going to be bringing is going to be this aspect that brings out, again, your connection all the way through mind, body, spirit, in harmony with the, with the universe, with nature, with yourself, and then also even with the other competitors. So we're looking at a system and a situation in which well, what I'm bringing is the chance for the people to go like, okay, we're competing, we're working, but this is still about self-improvement. It's about discipline, courtesy, respect.